Good Monday morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. A lot of people are probably tired this morning because uh, obviously the Oscars were last night. A lot of us stayed up for them, and uh, you saw all the big awards. We're going to have the lowdown from behind the scenes. As you probably know, Susan Casper uh, is out there. She was on the red carpet last night. She's going to be joining us live via satellite from California to talk about what happened behind the scenes, what she knows about the you know, the insider action. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. We've also got some big news going on this morning. Uh, we've got James Ray, who is uh, facing charges in tomorrow. He's going to be in court tomorrow. So we're going to preview that, uh, why he could face uh, more than 35 years in prison. Um, on top of that, Jared Loftner, uh, the man accused of the shooting spree in Tucson, uh, he uh, could possibly face the death penalty. We'll tell you why. And... Um, what, who's trying to fight that? So uh, we'll break that down for you. Also, in light of all of this, we've got some new news on the recovery of Representative Gabrielle Giffords. It continues to go well. We've got some new uh, new details on what exactly is going on there. Uh, also, Dancing with the Stars tonight. They're going to announce the big um, the big cast of this show. You know, every year it's such a big deal. Who's going to be on Dancing with the Stars? Well. Today, we've got some rumors. We'll break down who is rumored to be on Dancing with the Stars. You know, we're ABC, but the, we don't know. We don't know until they announce it. So uh, we're we're interested in this speculation as much as you guys are. And uh, a lot of it ends up being true, so we'll have to see. It's going to be announced tonight, so make sure you tune in for that. And uh, also, oh, we've got this really good story. Um, uh, Dave Biscabing, one of our reporters here, uh, did this investigation. He, he looked into uh, exactly... The, the reported kidnappings that the, the Phoenix police have reported saying there's one kidnapping every single day. So he looked into the records and found out that it doesn't appear that that's actually true. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. We've got part two of his investigation uh, as he continues to dig this up. It's good stuff, guys. Make sure you tune in. I just watched the first piece online. It's on ABC15.com right now. Again, part two is going to be uh, during the 6 o'clock hour and daybreak. We'll also talk with Dave live about his story and all the digging that he did to make this happen and, and what it revealed. So all of that on daybreak. You've got a lot more on top of that. It is it is a packed newscast. We've got a lot of news, and we hope you'll join us. We're on from 5 until 7. Uh, as We're also checking traffic, uh, keeping you uh, safe on the roads this morning, and weather because, wow, what a cold weekend. But Allison is in for Amber, and it looks like it's going to get better. So tune in. We'll see you on TV. <laughs>